during the SoundCloud era, I was the only nigga really trapping. Mm. Just to come to my shit, like I'm like RPJ Stash whatever, but he came to my shit. That nigga seen a K Pack of Zan, was like, <gasps> like a lot of these niggas, like you know what I'm saying? Like I really know what's going on with this rap shit. Like if you good and you talented, man, get your money. A thousand Zan. A K Pack is a thousand, I'm assuming. Yeah, and that's only one. What the back in the day to own, but yeah. That's old school. Yeah, but no, for sure. When I was reading up on Eureka from back in the day, that was one thing they said is that when you guys were apprehended or whatever, they found like 2,000 Zan. That's what they say. I beat it. <laughs> they say a lot of shit. Was that, like, I don't know, like, speak, okay, so the reason why that Rico allegedly came down, there's a there's a video from, I believe, Trap Geek that's called Hoover, the music video that took down a Texas block, and it has, like, four million views, and it basically talks about that music video, which had a shitload of guns in it and everything, and obviously it was, like, gang content, because the song's called Hoover, but... They basically draw the line between that and the Rico and say that that's basically like how that ended up coming about. Is, is it weird to have that kind of documentary out there about you? And is that shit accurate? That, that shit is not accurate. So it's a nigga named Sadiq. He's a fucking snitch. You know what I'm saying? This nigga was damn. He bought a car. He was like a band swap or something. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then why? And then why he did that? The police saw him serving two pounds. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So they had a helicopter outside for the car and they caught this nigga serving. And then nigga he went. And like he was on his own shit, you know what I'm saying? He went and just started making up false accusations on the whole gang, man. Really? <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> but yeah, man, it is making up false accusations, all this shit, bro. That nigga snitched on his baby mama, his little brother. Really? Like, you know what I'm saying? He was just, I ain't gonna say snitch, because snitch mean that you telling uh -huh. somebody did a crime. He was just lying on people. And you just, you you beat it? Like, how long was this a pain in your ass for? I caught it, and so I was on tour with Danny Brown. Mm. I had like shit, 90K cash. Popped in like it was half a meal. <laughs> but I had like 90K, you know what I'm saying? Been touring, selling merch and shit like that. I was on tour, like, you know what I'm saying? Traveling, I went to the West Coast. Mm. Then, like, when I came, came home, I pulled up, you know what I'm saying? My mama gave me a call. She said to my own little brother, Josh, she like, the police just came in here and grabbed him. I don't know what the fuck going on. I'm like, man, what the hell he got going on? I'm like, all right, mama, let me know the bun. I'm going to see what's up. But while I'm pulling in, I see like three HPD cars. Like you ever seen D like D like uh, I'm stunned like a mother. DMX and Belly. Mm -hmm. Like he pulled up and the laws is at his shit. That's how it was with me. So I pulled down, I'm like, they got me fucked up. I ain't going. So boom. You know what I'm saying? I I hit up my lawyer, put the retainer in and shit like that. Started seeing what was up with buns and shit. But I had a show in Houston. Mm -hmm. So I like fuck it. I'm just going to the show. I went and did the show. And then um my girlfriend at the time. I about chopped up with her real quick, but my dumb ass walked outside. As soon as I walked outside, I tried to run back and one of the warehouse live people stopped me. I'm like, you mother. I seen a cop car come this way, a cop car come this way. So I start walking. I passed up a cop. They thought that somebody else was me. You know what I'm saying? But then when I got to like the Western cop, they pointed me out. You know what I'm saying? Then they pointed me out. Then they had showed me a picture of my boy. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? They're like, you know him? I'm like, hell no, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? Then. They brought me in from the show. Did it feel like you were kind of being targeted as the famous guy out of everybody Hell involved? the fuck, yes. Right. Hell yeah, they targeted me. Because when it's but in then, the like, news that was and like shit. one of the first day Ricos, you know, because Ricos usually used to come with federal level. Right. You know one what I'm saying? One of the state Ricos, yeah. But, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Now they throwing them hoes all over Florida, like everybody catching them motherfuckers. Even Thug shit is a state Rico. Right, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I just feel like, I don't like speaking on shit, but I feel like Thug going to beat it. Cause niggas a state Rico, nigga. If you really what they said was fifteen murders involved or some shit like that, if they had that shit. The feds would be on that shit, right? So I just feel like he'd beat it. Damn, that's crazy. But so did that? Did that mark an important change in your life when that shit happened, where you kind of realized that you needed to maybe clean your act up a little bit? Yeah, cause I was independent and I was like fuck a label, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying. But once that shit happened, you know what I'm saying, they hit us with um. Money laundry, five hundred k better. Mm -hmm. um, conspiracy of two thousand pounds. Then, like, you know what I'm saying? And then um, organized crime. So they hit us with all them. So I mm -hmm. like money laundry. Now, I make money. Like, this ain't no dope money. Like, I stream, I tour, I do shows, merch, all that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I like, fuck it. I just signed a deal. Right. Damn. That's it was crazy. a good deal, though. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I'm out the deal. I recouped. It's a major label deal, and I ain't get dropped. You know what I'm saying? I'm back independent. Did you end up feeling like the label shit was just not for you? Or... 
it was cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know in hip hop, you supposed to make hits and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But I like just making my music. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, at least, like, you know, I'm getting older. Like, from time to time, I be hating to do that shit. Like, I used to pop hella by bands, Adderall, just to rap. But I just found the love back. Like, like when I was on the label, I ain't like doing music for real. Right. It's like, whatever, because they be trying to make a nigga make them old pop-ass songs and shit like that. And some of my most biggest songs be like like, like the little neat shit that I make. You know it's what I'm saying? Weird shit. Hell yeah, and that shit stream. You feel me? So, but would they send you beats with like pre-written hooks Hell and yeah, shit? Hell yeah, I used to hate that shit, really? bro. Hell yeah. Like a motherfucker, bro. You never got anything that you were like, oh yeah, like this could be fucking dope. I like, turn this shit the fuck off. Really? Shit was all corny-ass radio shit for real. They ever try to put you in the studio like with... Songwriters, or they would just send you sort of like nah, shit. like shit. They put me in with songwriters, mm. and you just couldn't really vibe, vibe with them. I invite like the lean man and some bitches, <laughs> and just like then like I get it at night. So I'm like, shit, we might go to the club, right? But I mean, the, sad, like the, the songwriter could be a cool dude. The songwriter could he just cool be like so, some rapper that ain't really popping like that anymore, but he's really good at writing shit, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, I probably could have got on that shit and, and, and made a hit, went number one. I ain't gonna say the shit was bad. I just wasn't fucking with it. Right. I don't like when people write for me. Because there's a lot of artists that I like. Like, Kodak is one artist that I really love. And there are some Kodak songs where I just listen to it, and I'm like, I do not believe for a second that he went into the studio and made this song. I just really believe that the label, he signed to Atlantic, I believe they sent him the beat, the flow, the hook, whatever, and that he was just actually down to do it. And then I see the marketing push behind some of those songs, and I'm like, this is such, this is like what the fucking label was made to do, is to like make you have a hit song and then push it. I don't know. But, but I mean, shit, if you can't get into the fucking vibe of doing it, then I guess it is what it is. Yeah, I like making my own shit, like just doing the Maxo shit. Then I was looking at the streams, I'm like, bro, I was streaming the same as I was when I was independent, that when I was signed. Really? Like, hell yeah. Like my earliest shit, streaming more than my hell yeah. 